Shalom to the elect. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakakwadash. All right, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yah means He, and Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh means He to be or He exists. All right, Bahashem means in the name, Ba means in. Ha means the, and Shem means name, all right? And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah, okay? Yah means he, and Yahweh Shai means save or deliver. So Yahweh Shai means he is the savior, or he is the deliverer, all right? Baha Shem, once again, means in the name. Baha Kodash means holy spirit. Baha means spirit, and Kodash means holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the honors the elders and apostles, a great millstone, never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. You know, this is pretty much going into how, you know, one day we're going to be freed from these chains of darkness, okay, which is the flesh, you know, the flesh. All right, we're in, we're in sinful flesh, man. All right, this flesh... This is also another reason why you can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments 100%, man. All right, you're going to go off, okay? So guys are saying that you know, we're in a new covenant. No, you're not, because if you were in a new covenant, you wouldn't have the same flesh that you have now, you know? The chains of darkness is the flesh. The darkness represents sin, Okay? So this is Jude chapter 1 verse 6. And the angels, all right, and the angels, talking about the spirits, you know, or with angels, you know, spirits, this is, you know, the angels that they keep their first day are the Israelites, okay? You know, but this can be applied to the nations as well, but it's mainly talking about, you know, the Israelites, okay? So this is in the angels, which kept not their first estate, all right? Our first estate you know, is the um, celestial body, okay? And our spirit left the celestial body and came on the earth in human form, you know, in human form, you know? So we left our own habitation, our own habitation. I'm talking about the spirit world, all right? You know, we left the spiritual world in that celestial body, okay? It says, he hath reserved an everlasting chains under darkness, you see, chains under darkness, and that's that. This that's this flesh, this flesh that we're currently in. You're gonna go off, man. All right. And to further prove that this is talking about the flesh, keep in mind how it says chains. Okay. Let me get two precepts. This is First Corinthians chapter seven. And Salakia. Not first Corinthians seven. Romans chapter seven and verse twenty-four. The apostle Paul is going to you know the flesh here as well. Alright, this is Romans chapter seven, verse twenty-four. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? See, I'm read that part again. I'm gonna read that scripture again. O wretched man that I am. This is Romans chapter seven, verse twenty-four. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? You see? You know, one point I want to make real quick is how the Apostle Paul is saying, you know, he has to be delivered from this flesh. You know, this flesh. He has to be delivered from it. Okay? If you got to be delivered something, that means you're what, you know, you're... you're pretty much like bound in it, you know? And the scripture said, change the darkness, okay? You know? And the chain is something that bounds you, okay? You know? So the fact that he said, deliver me, and he's talking about the flesh, this proves that those chains of darkness is talking about the flesh, all right? Let me get another precept. This is... Oh, right in the next chapter, Romans chapter 8 and verse 
20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Okay? So the creature was made subject unto vanity. We were made, and subject means under rule. All right? If, you, if you're in chains, you're not free. Okay? You're under, you're under rule of something or someone. You know? So we're made to go, you know, in this flesh, man, we're going to go off. Okay? You know? In the darkness, let's get back to Jude. Chapter 1 and verse 6. And angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. See, that darkness represents sin. You know, unto the judgment of the great day. All right? And that, that's the day of the Lord. You know, when Yahweh Shah returns, that judgment of the great day, that's talking about the day of the Lord. You know, and on that day, when Yahweh Shah does return, he's going to change our bodies, man. And that's and when we get the change of bodies, we get those immortal bodies, you know, we won't have no more sin. Okay? Let me get this real quick. This first Corinthians chapter 15. And verse starting at verse 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. See? And that's talking about a whole new body, not the body we have now. Verse 53, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Immortality means not die, you know? You, you live forever, Okay? So in order for us to, and let's get some, let's understand something real quick. It's Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. What is sin? Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 tells you that. So it says for the wages of sin is death. So what you get for sinning is death, man. You know? That's what you get for committing, you know, for committing sin. Death. All right, but the scripture just said, First Corinthians fifteen, that when we get those new bodies, we're gonna be immortal. So what does that tell you right there? We won't be sinning, and that's, you know, we're gonna be perfect, man. You know, that's when the new covenant is gonna come into place. You know, it's, it's gonna happen when Yahweh Shah returns. Until then, we're gonna be under these chains of darkness. All right, but it's gonna come a time very soon. All right, that. We're going to be released out of these chains of darkness. We won't have to worry about just being in this flesh no more, man. This sinful ass flesh, man. This is Philippians chapter 3, starting at verse 20. For our conversations in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Verse 21, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Like unto his glorious body, who according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So, when Yahweh, in other words, when Yahweh shall return, all right, he's going to change our body into those incorruptible and those immortal bodies. Okay? We won't have to worry about sinning no more. All right? We won't have to worry about going off. Okay? Let me get the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 31 starting at verse 31 behold the days come saith Yahweh that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah so the new covenant is only for the Israelites verse 32 not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt which my covenant they break although I wasn't husband unto them saith Yahweh but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and will be their power, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know Yahweh, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith Yahweh, for I will forgive their iniquity, 
and I will remember their sin no more. You see, so Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, right, he's gonna have it, you know, this new covenant, all right, and the laws is gonna be in our inward parts. So pretty much keeping the laws is gonna be like second nature, man. Like, like you breathe the air without thinking about it, that's how it's gonna be like keeping the law. And we ain't gotta worry about it, we ain't gotta think about it, man. Cause we, we never gonna go off again once we're changed. You know, once we get those new bodies. Until then, you know, we still have to strive to do righteously, you know. We just want to, you know, keep striving to do righteousness, you know, within these flesh, within this flesh. But we are going to go off because we're in this flesh, you know. Even under Esau, you know, you can't keep the law 100%. We're supposed to put, you know, HOMOs to death. Leviticus 20, you know, tells you that. But in this society, you get locked up for something like that and charged with a hate crime, all of that, you know? So, but one day, you know, Yahweh is going to come back, and, you know, we're going to be, you know, free. <laughs> free from Esau, free from these wicked, this wicked-ass flesh, you know? It's, it's, it's real freedom, real freedom, Okay? But yeah, man, I just wanted to do a lesson on that. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to my rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh. Let me say that again. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That belongs to the elders and apostles, great millstone, never well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew is Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.